Welcome to Learning Golf with GB. So today we're going to learn a little bit about um, helping you compress your irons, helping you use the ground effectively, and you know hopefully hitting better strikes. So we see a lot with amateurs and they get, you know, they swing back and they get stuck on this back foot and it causes them to, you know, hit up on the ball, make, make poor contact, ball goes everywhere, shanks, whatever, right? So I've got this cool little, this um, device here. This is called the pressure plate. Pressure plate. Uh, shows you the direction to put it. So we're gonna put this towards the, the target. And basically what it does, put that towards the target and it's gonna show us, you know, what we should do with our weight. Okay, so if I started, I mean, they, they say the best way to start, you watch the guys that hit the ball long, they always start by pressing into their front foot, then pressing into their back as they, back foot as they swing through, down, back, sorry. And then they'll press into the front foot to hit the ball. So, but with this pressure plate, we can basically, it's not the easiest thing to hit a ball with, but basically, you know, when we swing back, we want to be weight, more pressure into that right foot. And I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about a big sway. I'm just talking about as we turn into our right side, just pressure, you know, weight into there. It doesn't have to be that way. It's just down into there. So, so as I, you know, I can go up and down here, look like a, Anyway, get back on topic. I can go up and down here without needing to go side to side. I hope that makes sense. So my pressure is, is back as I'm swinging back. So I'm down into it. Then as I'm still swinging back, I'm gonna go, boom, this way, this way. And that will get my pressure. And I will shift, yes, a little forward, right? So I'm gonna hit this way down. Okay, so if I, if I came off the plate, right, if I move that back a little bit, I'm gonna feel my pressure into here on the backswing, it's into here, I haven't gone over here. It's just this pressure down, pressure here, and then forward to hit the ball. That, that will help my angle of attack, the, the direction the club's moving, going down and forward. So I can really make good compression on the ball. Now, if I'm going down and backward, you know, I'm gonna hit the ground back here, or if I miss the ground, I'm gonna go over the top of the ball or whatever it might be. So just a little indication of what happens <laughs> with, with our pressure in a golf swing, right? So backside, forward forward, right? We get that little into the left knee, down, forward, hammer it, right? And that's a great little way. Now some people have got, um, you could get a piece of uh, timber and just put a dowel in the middle of it, right? So instead of, I mean the pressure plate's great, I, I, I'm just trying to avoid a lawsuit to be honest. I don't want to have a piece of dowel with you know, you could piece, put a piece of dowel down the middle and that would rock for you nicely. Just give you that idea of pressure, okay? Um, obviously this thing's sturdy, it's very well built, it's gonna stuck, stick to the ground. I mean, this is not a paid advertisement, these people don't pay me anything. I just think it's a great teaching aid to teach us, get that feeling of, of pressure on our right leg for the right-handed golfer. It's not sway, there's a big difference between Pressure here, and then that forward and down movements. You'll see it a lot, you'll see that a lot in golf pros where the, the, the leg, you know, it's almost like we're pointing that knee out and forward that way. We get that in, and then that's naturally we're gonna push off when we hit it, right? But if you get, learn to get that squat, that forward movement here, 
you can learn to Purina the irons.